the the pressure that's on in the the spotlight that it's on Bronny James right now to be great is insane. He has pressure on him like he's a number one pick in the draft. So we had the Bronny James debut. <laughs> and let's take a look at the numbers. <laughs> let's, look at, let's look at the numbers. He oh, goes, bust out laughing. Let's look at the numbers. Now, they did play today. Um, I think he played 29 minutes. He had three points. He played today? <laughs> yeah, he played today. I thought he was sitting out. Nah, he played, he played today. But this is I'm the... What did you say? What he had it? Hey, you can't even he get. Day? You can't even say it. What he had today? He had twenty nine minutes and I think like three points. He took mm. like three shots. He had okay. like three points or something well, like that. Okay. But this was a debut for Bronny James. Obviously, you can see the numbers. Not a very good game, but we're gonna. I like to play the devil's advocate on this. What do what were we expecting from him in his debut? Like his debut, like what what were you expecting? Don't ask me that before? question. Ask yourself that. Let me ask you that question. What was you expecting Bronny to do in his debut? Was this what you expected? This this ain't a surprise to me. Like what? Like you, he, he, he was, you was all, you all we, for we, Bronny being an NBA player. We've had I, I was for Bronny James because of what he represents in the legacy and what that is looking like for LeBron and the James family. Now, I mean, but from a basketball perspective, like was I expecting him to go out there and drop 15 or 20? No, he was the 55th pick in the draft. Like what this, he ain't number one pick. He's got, yo, I was thinking about this. Bron, LeBron James might be the only player. I, one of the only players outside of probably Bryce Harper that comes to my mind who had so much pressure and lived up to the hype. Still living up to the hype. Still living up to the hype. Since he was 16 years old. But the the pressure that's on in the, the spotlight that it's on Bronny James right now to be great is insane. He has pressure on him like he's a number one pick in the draft. Because yeah. everything he does is going to be criticized. You know everything he on? does. He, they put it on him. They put it on him. They How did they him? put him on Nobody. Nobody. Nobody asked Bronny to come out. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody said shit. What you, Bronny what you come, mean, though? Nobody said shit, man. Bronny, nice. That dude need to come out and play NBA basketball. Nobody put the pressure on Bronny besides Bronny and the family. And a number one culprit of that is LeBron James. That's it. You're gonna you're gonna blame his dad. You're gonna blame one, LeBron James. We're talking about basketball. Yes. Okay. Is it great? Is it amazing that a son and a, a father-son duo is going to grace the court at some point throughout the 2025 season, 2024, 2025 season? Oh, great story. But Bronny James is not at this level yet. You're talking about score 15, 16. He hasn't done that. He wins. I don't even know when the last time he scored 15 points. At Sierra Canyon, maybe? Maybe? Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm I'm being dead ass. Yeah. I saw so, a defensive highlight. What you they see? Because my man dropped 32. They 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 did a defensive highlight. Um it's so bad. They did a defensive highlight of him blocking somebody out who was probably like six eight, six ten on the block and showing that he can, you know, he can he can defend. But then they showed him doing, you know how players at the end of a, a play get a shot up. Bro, he was had to be like 15 feet from the basket. He shot it and airballed it. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. He said the bench just put their head down, like, oh shit. <laughs> right, because they got to go through all this shit all season. Bronny has a guaranteed roster spot. You're like, For if sure. you want to talk about putting pressure on somebody, who's doing that? His camp is. The James family is putting the pressure on Bronny James. He's solidified as a Laker, he's solidified a roster he spot. He has not yep. deserved it basketball wise. Is he the king's son? 100%. So we understand that. Yes, the prince has the crown, but at the end of the day, the game is going to show you and dictate where you're going to go. Bronny only can, LeBron can only be his savior for so long. 
his game is going to show up and he's not ready. And these other guys is up here that's looking at him is like, here, come here, come take this, come get this check from me. And they're giving him work. You see my man yeah. debut, gave him 32 points. 32. Yeah. I thought he could defend. He's six foot one. He's too small. So hopefully, and I because I like Bronny, I love the James family. I love Le- LeBron, always been a fan. I hope he really gets in the lab and gets the opportunity to play basketball, hopefully in the G League, where he'll get some time to continue to pr- progress and get better as a professional. He missed the opportunity by continuing his college career, collegiate career, where he could have kind of focused on being a point guard at his size, being a better defender at his size, and getting stronger and healthier. We still tripping, yo. I don't care what you say. Everybody the numbers tripping. are the numbers. The numbers okay. are the numbers. But, what, but, what, but like I said, what was the expectation? Was the expectation really for him to come out here and drop 15, 7, and 7 or something? Like, come on, not man. My, not, not my expectation. As much, as much as people talk about how he don't deserve not a, not a, not a, we up in arms. Like he scored four points, scored three points <laughs> today. <laughs> so, well, I mean, I think you know they're man? just saying, they're just saying that it's showing already that you're only playing against the, the best, co- you're only playing against the best, pretty much elite college players that just came out of college and you, you're still right here. You're not even playing NBA players, really, besides second year players, possibly. So we even get to, we even get to Vegas where it's going to really go down in Vegas. Yeah. All right. But, but he could. I mean, listen. I, we'll see. He got the blood in him, I guess. He got the, he got the greatness in him. Oh yeah, he got the greatness. But sometimes in him. you know you you limit your life. You're limited to to what you got, and he's he unfortunately only got he got his mama's frame, and and it is oh, what it man. is. Yeah, you you gonna have to stop talking about Savannah, man. Leave her. Oh, leave her Savannah. Around. I mean, listen.